everyone, it's me, X Canadensis. Today is a type of video I've never done before, but kind of I have. Basically, I have over 100 Bratz dolls, and I've been saving, fixing them at all for restoration videos. I know you guys like restoration videos, I like doing restoration videos, but I've been so busy and restoration videos take so long that I have to have a full day off to do them. And even when I have a day off, I end up sleeping through the whole day just because of my work schedule, so doesn't work. So basically today I have a day off, finally, and I'm going to do a mass restoration. So basically any Bratz doll whose hair looks remotely grimy, I'm going to dunk them in the boiling water, sit them out to dry, brush out their hair, and we're gonna see how much better they look after. I feel like they're gonna look a lot better and yeah, I hope this is a fruitful endeavor. Uh, I just I want them all to look better. It is embarrassing that their hair is messed up and I want to be able to use them for pictures or whatever else um, more easily. And then if any of them need a more admi advanced um, restoration, then they can get a video for that. Otherwise, we'll just do restorations going forward for them. We will see. Um, I'm also probably not going to be able to do all of them today. Uh, we're just going to work our way down, you know, and any, because like this Jade, I probably wouldn't normally restore her, but we're gonna do it today. So yeah, I need to go get my boiling water because it sounds like it finished. I will be right back and then we'll get started. To the time-lapse part, so here's the boiling water. Don't worry, I do a better angle for this later because I realized my elbow is just directly in the camera shot, which is great. Um, but the thing that I'm doing different this time than usual, um, for a lot of my restorations in the past, I would just dunk the, like I would dump the boiling water on the doll. And from what I've seen from other people's restorations that always turn out better than mine, they just leave them in. They just leave them to cook. Um, and ever since I started doing that for, um, I did it for my, oh god, what was her name? Pampered Pets Yasmin, I think was her name, from the playset. Um, I did it for her and it turned out so much better, so now I just leave them to sit, so that's why a lot of the clip is just them sitting. And remember, this is a time lapse, so this is, like, really, really sped up. Uh, yeah, I'm just cooking my dolls, you know how it is, really deranged behavior, but... <laughs> It's worth it in the end. And um, the entire filming of this video was probably around three hours, and I did a ton of dolls. The most time-consuming part was this, where I was brushing through all their hair. Um, you can't see all of the brushing here. This was, like, the third round, I think. I didn't film every brushing just because it would get kind of redundant. But basically, you boil the hair, you brush it, you boil the hair, you brush it, you boil the hair, you brush it. If you need to, you can shampoo and condition it. I, I used dish soap on a couple of these. I didn't use conditioner this time, so it's not as soft and silky as usual. But it's just because this was a batch... Um, restoration as opposed to a more dedicated restoration for each doll. I wanted it to be fast. Oh, here's Never and Dana. I wanted to make sure their bangs stayed nice, um, but I didn't want to have to worry about it when I'm brushing through their hair and stuff, so this is how to do it. It actually works really well. I've done it a couple of times now for restorations and customs. Hers, though, are not supposed to be like bang bangs. They're supposed to be like little curled bangs. So I did a pen cap and then I plastic wrapped it. Brett helped me with that, though. It was, I couldn't get it on my own, and then I just rubber banded here to keep it in place and hers I just rubber banded around her uh, neck and the hair to keep it in place so I'm going to dump boiling water over that and then all these girls are down here because they just need a touch-up of some sort or they have marks on their face that we're gonna get off with acetone so I'm gonna off camera do the final boiling water dunk and then I'm gonna go to the other room and get the acetone and then we'll fix these spots so I will see you there. Alright hey guys I'm kind of off camera but this is the anime room so excuse the mess we haven't finished setting it up yet but um this is kind of where i keep all my paint and stuff so this is where i'm going to be doing this part so basically all you're going to do is take acetone um this is 100 percent acetone and then if it's on the cheeks it's more complicated but basically this is away from any paint so and that's it and now her face is clean i'm going to make sure there's no other spots on her uh yeah so she's good to go um, can just do like a spot clean as well if you so choose, but you just have to be really careful because this stuff takes off paint really, really easily. That's why it's used as nail polish remover. All right, Secret Date Megan has had this spot on here forever, so we're gonna get that off. Can use the same one as long as it's not too dirty, it should work. And there we go, it came right off. Yeah, so this is really good for paint stains, but it can't deal with like um, deep plastic staining like in the vinyl so I'm already seeing that unfortunately the paint that was on Megan's forehead has stained her vinyl a little bit it's not enough to bother me but it's definitely enough to be noticeable uh, but that's okay let's move on from her 
Um, next I'm going to wet the other side just so I don't smear any paint from anyone else. And um, why did I bring you up here? Um, okay, this one's complicated because it's around her eye makeup here. Sorry, let me get the... It's kind of... I don't know if you can tell, but I'm just going to try to get it off. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I didn't mess up anything. And then there's some here that's going to take a little bit of blushing off, but it's okay. Um, Alright, she's good. Horrifying lighting. I am sorry. I don't have the studio lights down here. Um, and then for this Sasha, it's very interesting because it's actually wall paint. And I tried to scrape it off and it didn't really work, so hopefully this works. Yeah, it's working. I just have to be really, really careful because it's all around her eyes. Or her eye on this side, I should say. Um, and then I have to go over the blush here, so I'm just going to do it extremely gently and hope that I don't take it all off. Um, Alright, that worked better than I thought it would. She still has her blushing and the white paint is all gone. Horrific lighting again, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah. So, sorry about the washing machine. I need to film this now before they all dry anymore. Um, basically, I've boiled them all about an hour ago, and then I messed with these guys separately. Um, and them. Um, either they needed to be reboiled, or they needed st stain removal, or both, or they needed their bangs redone. So, um, I'm just gonna kind of show everybody in where they are now. So, Secret Date, Nevra, and Dana, they were already in really good condition. I just wanted to put their bangs where they go, so... They've been boiled. I forgot to bring her upstairs and I'm not gonna redo her. She looks fine already with her bangs where they are. If they do bother me, I'll redo them in a separate video, but she's looking really good. Her hair and, um, her and Roxy's hair both were actually atrocious, so I'm really, really happy with the way they look now. Um, she just has that stain on her nose, but honestly, it's not too big of a deal to me. And then, um, Funk Out, Funk Out Sasha. Um, I can't figure out how to redo her hair, but the knots are still in, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. It's clearly like a high half ponytail of some sort, but I can't get it to look like it's supposed to. It just kind of looks weird when I do it, so I don't know. <laughs> um, and then Express It Yasmin, she, I mean, it's as good as she can look. Her hair, um, was really bad though, and now it's really soft and nice, so that's very good. And then, yeah, everybody down here, their hair all turned out amazing. I'm really impressed with these two because they were horrible. Like, this one was pretty bad, but not terrible. These two were perfect already. I'm not worried about their hair. Hers was okay, but it wasn't great. Now it's basically perfect. Um, and then up here, Treasures Chloe. This poor doll, look how dirty her face still looks after all of that. I scrubbed it with dish soap. I used at the marks that don't... Those parts are where I did the acetone to get rid of the stains. So, um, I don't know if I'm just gonna have to acetone her whole face. I don't want to, I have no idea. And then Secret Date Megan here, she was just a disaster. She had a big stain, her hair was super tangled and really bad. So um, I've just completely undid any hairstyle that she had and boiled it. I actually had to boil her hair five times. She was one of the worst, like shockingly, cause I would think it was one of these two. Um, all right, let's bring some of the others over. So this is Secret Date Jade, her hair was, it felt so nasty, I don't know why, but she was like in perfect condition, barely touched, even with like her factory rubber bands in place. So I don't know why her hair was so bad, but now it's amazing. I didn't think it was gonna feel this good again. Um, so I'm really happy with her and how she came out. Sorry, um, Megan fell, let me put her back up here. Uh, her hair looks so good. Um, and then Sweetheart Lily, her hair just needed to be boiled, so it, it was already really good, actually, so it's just gonna be better. I was just grabbing random dolls off the shelf that I saw in front of me, so that's why she made it into the video. And why not just boil her really fast? She didn't really need anything else, and I really love this doll, so happy to make her look better. I, again, I was, I was literally just grabbing dolls that were here or here. I was just grabbing them and including them in the video. And then, sorry, if you can hear that, that's the washing machine water draining. Um, here is Yasmin, Treasures Yasmin, looking really good. Her hair was, all my Treasures dolls hair was like actually horrific, so much better here. Just needs to dry, so I'm just letting them drip dry. I'm letting them stand up and drip dry so I don't have to re, cause you have to reboil styles in sometimes. This is my first edition Chloe and her hair is super thin. It was like this before, I didn't add to it at all, but like look how sparse hers is. I think she's just thinning and she has stains, but um, I wanted to fix her up. She's looking a lot better. She's super cute. Um, yeah, it's okay. She doesn't have to be perfect because I have this one, you know, so she can live out her days looking much better. Um, and then this is Funk Out Nevra. I love this doll. 
Um, and she looks so much better. She was already in pretty good condition, but her hair was just messy and I had, all I did was brush it. I never did anything to it. So now it's going to be much, much better. And her and Roxy can go on display together and are going to look so good. Sorry, I don't know what happened to my voice there. And then Treasure's Roxy here. Again, her hair was terrible and it looks so much better now. So much better now. I didn't boil her or this Roxy for a while because I was worried about the micro braids, but they nothing happened to them. They are just as good as they were before, so don't let that stop you. So pretty. And then, um, this dance cruise or dance teams, Chloe, I'm stunned, honestly. I thought her hair was, like, maybe it is the same type of fiber as Bratzilla's hair. It does kind of feel like nylon, to be honest. Um, and I thought it was just going to be irreparable, but I wanted to try it, and it kept its curl. It's really, really soft. All of the frizziness is gone, and I only boiled her once or twice, so I'm stunned by this one. Um, she was just the oddball I wanted to include just to see how it would work out, and she turned out great. I'm so happy. I cannot wait to see it when it's dry, honestly. She's gonna, she's gonna look so good. I'm hyped. And then last but certainly not least is Welcome to Fabulous Sasha. She was from the same home as the Secret Date Jade, at least I think so, because I got them at Goodwill complete, sorry, at, at Savers complete at the same time. Um, I don't want to do too much to her because her hairstyle is super elaborate and beautiful and I don't want to mess it up. Um, I think it's just supposed to be in a high ponytail from here, um, but I basically just boiled the ponytail part, hoping for the best. Um, I might have contributed, look at that, what is that? I might have contributed a little bit to losing her hairstyle, but overall it looks fine. Um, and I'm gonna pop it back in a high ponytail and hope that it looks good again. She was just one that I included for the same reason as Sweetheart Lily. She was already really good. Um, I just wanted to make her better. Uh, yeah, so that's it for this part. I will see you guys in some hours. I think like five hours from now they should be pretty dry and we'll do the final part of this video. And yeah, I'm really excited. I'm stunned. They turned out so much better than I thought they would. Um, yeah. See you Hi. So now it's time for the end of the video. I'm going to show you all of the final looks. Their hair is still a little bit damp, but it's not going to change much after this and I need to get this video done. So I'm going to show you how they all look and I'm so excited. I took Dana and Nevra's hair down just now from the plastic wrap for their bangs and they're looking amazing. So there's Secret Date Nevra. Sorry that their clothes are wet. I was boiling their clothes as well because I hadn't washed any of these guys' clothes yet. And then style it Dana. Well, I have washed some of them. Like this Dana, I'd already washed her clothes. Um, but there she is. This is the one that has the nylon, I think. I have two variants of hair on her, and this was the one with the, like, silkier, shinier hair. I don't exactly know which one's which, but I'm pretty sure this one's nylon, um, so her hair's a little bit different than most that I've seen online. And then, um, I think my favorite out of all the ones in this video is Secret Date Jade. I didn't really like her that much when I first got her. Like, I thought she was nice and I was glad to have another Secret Date doll, but I didn't think much of her. But, like, her screening is so pretty and I love her pink streaks and her hair turned out so good. It's so soft and, like, yes. She looks so good. I'm really, really happy with her. So she's probably the one that I'm very, like, the most surprised by in this video. Mine has kind of a um, wobbly neck, and her arms are kind of messed up too, which is a shame, because Secret Date dolls have, do they have the glitter on them? Yeah, they do. So, she has a special body, so, um, I'm gonna have to leave her on it, but unfortunately, her head's kind of weird, but that's okay. But she looks so good, I'm so happy with her. And then, um, what about you, Treasures Yasmin? The Treasures dolls were probably, like, some of the biggest transformations of this video. They look so much better. I actually like these dolls now. <laughs> For me, before, when they were on display, I just kind of, like, put them in the back corner. I didn't look at them that much just because their hair was so atrocious, and now they look great. And then Chloe's face was really messy, but she has a bandana to cover it up. Sorry she doesn't have pants on. I'm gonna find her some new ones. Um, she was wearing, uh, I had an extra Secret Date Nevra's skirt, but I'm giving it to a friend, so that's why she doesn't have one anymore. Um, that's what she was wearing. I would really love to have her socks, though, because my, um... My Roxy and my Yasmin are my only other two, and they both have their socks. Here is Express It Yasmin. She looks really good. I'm a lot happier with her now. I don't like this particular Yasmin screening that much, but I love this outfit so much, and she's going to look cute on display. And I have a lot of Express It dolls. I actually have doubles of most of them, so I like that display a lot, and now Yasmin can be proud to be... <laughs> she can be proud to be on that display. She doesn't have to, like, hide anymore. She looks really good. Um, And then Twins... Uh, sorry, Twins Phoebe. 
so pretty. Um, I actually didn't end up doing the bangs treatment for her, but hers were already perfect. She actually seems to still have styling product. You can kind of see it, even after the boiling and the brushing and the washing. Um, but you know what? It works for her. I like it a lot. She looks great. Um, her hair was so bad before. I didn't think it was going to be... I didn't think it was going to turn out this good. It's pristine again. It looks amazing. And um, her and Roxy were actually really bad before. And now they both look spectacular so i'm super happy to finally have the twins it took forever to get a phoebe so really happy about them super cool um and speaking of the twins this is roxy from the twins pack she looks great as well her hair was also atrocious but i was scared to brush it and boil it because of the micro braids but um she turned out better than phoebe probably she looks so good her hair was better to begin with though she has some staining on her nose but i don't I, it's not a big deal it doesn't bug me that much Eventually, what I want to do is get some pastels and kind of blush her a little bit more to cover it up. And because I always display her with her girlfriend, Nevra, so I think it would work out. So here's Nevra. She's got the little um, charm from Roxy, and she's so cute. Nevra turned out great, too. Her hair was already really nice. Um, she didn't need the transformation, but if you do a transformation on a doll whose hair is already pretty good, it makes them spectacular, so... With very little effort, too, so I figured why not include her, and so I did, and I like that I did, because they look great. So let's move them out of the way. Secret date, Megan. I love her so much, and her hair is finally soft and silky. I'm excited to style this, but I'm going to consult the experts before I do, because I really liked her original style. And yeah, her hair is super soft. I love the blend of colors in it, and this doll is gorgeous. She's one of my favorite Bratz dolls, y'all already know. Yay! She's finally good. <laughs> she's been a mess for so long, and my three secret date dolls now are so gorgeous. They're so, so good. And then the dance team slash cruise, I don't remember. I think it's dance cruise, though. A uh, Chloe doll that I included kind of as an oddball. Her hair is almost completely dry now because I only did one, one or two treatments on her. Um, and she's so perfect. Look how silky and soft. I mean, y'all can't feel it, but it's so soft. And it's still curled, which is crazy. That's why I think it's nylon. It's because it held the curl so well. Absolutely amazing. I'm so happy with her. So happy with her. Her hair was really, really bad. Like, if, you, if you've if you ever gotten a Bratzilla's thrifting, that's what her hair was like. That's so specific. Or a Jack Specific Winx Bloom doll. <laughs> All right. Here is... Welcome to Fabulous Sasha. I didn't do much with her. I just, her hair was already nice enough, so I just boiled it to make it nicer, but I can't really brush it too hard because I don't know how to restyle it, so um, she was just one that needed some maintenance, so I included her in the transformation, but she's not really one for the video or anything. And then here's Treasures Roxy. She turned out real, real good as well, and I love, when I put the bandanas back on the Treasures dolls, I was like, yes, there we go. So good. So good. So cute. Look at her. Um, Funk Out Sasha, we've already talked about. She hasn't changed. <laughs> I would love to figure out how to do her hair, but in the meantime, she's just going to be like that. First edition Chloe. Poor thing. Look at that. When it's dry, it actually looks worse. <laughs> it's okay, though. So, yeah. <laughs> this is my 2021 first edition Chloe, and this is my original first edition. Poor thing poor thing but her hair is really soft now the little hair that she does have so that's good you right <laughs> oh my gosh poor thing and then last but certainly not least is sweetheart lily she also didn't need to be restored today but she was just another one that i included and oh man her hair is so soft so i'm very happy that i did it look at that her blend of colors is so pretty i love lily she's an underrated character i think um because there's very few dolls of her but like yeah, she's she's spectacular. Look at her. So pretty. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, I'm really, really glad that this little experiment ended up a success because, you know, I have a lot of Bratz dolls and almost all of them need some kind of treatment. Like even that Express It Chloe, like I got her like basically brand new in box, but as you can see, her hair needs it. Um... And like any any of my dolls, I would just like to have maintenance. I don't want them to have a bunch of flyaways and it will help them stay nicer for longer. So I'm very excited to do this with another batch of dolls. So if you enjoyed this video, please let me know to do more because it really does motivate me when I'm kind of in a slump and not feeling like doing anything. When you guys are like really excited about a video, it makes me more inclined to do it sooner. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. For real this time, bye!